everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. Today, we're going to be doing our weekly budget. I know I haven't done one in a while. Um, actually, I realized I didn't do last week, so I kind of did that one. Um, and these are the past couple of weeks, so those did get done. Let me take this out and put a pen put those together and then i have not closed out my march budget so i just have that here to remind me of that i was gonna say oh my god i ran out of inserts so we're gonna jump right in i'm not even gonna do a review of last week i just want to hop right on into this week so we have my sources of income here Norris Cove, and I just nickname it No Co. And then we have miscellaneous because sometimes I just sell things online. And I do need to go to the calendar to see what we have going on here for the month of April. I'm going to put this to the side like that. Um, this is the week of the 8th through the 14th. My sister's birthday is actually tomorrow the 8th. Um, for hair, hmm, I've been guesstimating about 800, but here's the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it a thousand because I did give myself a raise for the um, starting the month of April, April 1st. Um, some of my prices in the salon went up by five and ten dollars. So I'm gonna put a thousand. So the past couple of weeks, I've just been putting eight, eight fifty. And we've come in over that. So I feel comfortable now with like a thousand dollars a week. Norris Cove. So if you're new here or if you're just an oldie but a goodie, you know, I don't necessarily pay myself from the business unless I'm paying myself back or it goes back into the business. I have been supplying the business um, for the month of April and March and um, I kind of went over my budget, not anticipating that we may have a couple of cancellations for the budget box. That is probably my biggest pay. And we came in real, real low on the month of April for the budget box, like $300. So um, I'm paying myself back. I did pay myself back when we got paid um, around the first. And so this week I'll just be paying myself back because I've invested more but i'm gonna put like 150 it may come in a little lower and sometimes this just really goes back into the business but i may switch it to my personal account i hope that makes sense but let's move on and in here i'm gonna put total of these things here which is 1150 dollars now let's hop into the bills that are due this month now i thought canva i had canva down for like with Eve the 11th but it came out today which is Sunday the 7th that's fine um, the money was there um, so we're gonna do Apple music on the 8th mm. and I can't remember what I think Apple music comes in about like $12 something like that I'm gonna put 12 um, my sister's birthday I meant to have her a car but I totally forgot um, American Home Shield comes out on the 10th And it's $60. I'll be so glad when that is up. And then on the 11th, I have Chase. And uh, Chase comes in about $120. And then on the 13th, I have a T-Mobile payment, but I have to look and see how much that is. But I think we're around like 120 as well. And then Navy Federal Credit Union credit card. I really wanna give them more. I'm gonna put 50 down for them. Um, and that is the 13th. And then also on the 13th is when I do my booth rent. And honestly, I'm thinking about it. I gotta get a few little supplies like boxes, tissue paper, cello bags. So this will probably be gone. <laughs> Well, I'll let you guys know next week. And so booth rent is two fifty. dollars So that's all we have this week. Um, last week was the busy week where everything is on the 1st. And I added another business expense. And oh, I do need to get another expense. So that's going to probably come out of my business one, which is QuickBooks. But I'm going to go over here to Sinking Funds. I've been trying to contribute 
to my high yield savings. My budget is 50 this week. I had 50 last week, but only did 25. That's fine. Groceries. I'm putting 100. Jaden. That's my son. I want to give him 20. And I'm trying to think of all the, the little envelopes that I do. Um, I need to set up something for taxes. put 20 just because as a reminder and expenses gas is coming out this week i got gas yesterday and it was 70 dollars and one cent so i'm just gonna put 70 or one that's coming out this week debt payment i want to pay capital one i want to give them 50 we'll see how that goes um let me get my pen and we'll do Ulta. Capital One is kind of like on time, but it is over. So I like to just put those, some little parentheses in those. Ulta, we need to give them, they're not due to the 17th, but I want to give them at least 100 if I can. And I think that's it. So let's do some math. Six hundred and twelve dollars over here. And then one thing I know for certain next year when I do inserts, I gotta have a remaining. So we're gonna subtract that from eleven fifty. That leaves five thirty-eight. We're gonna bring that over here. And then we're gonna add up these right here. That comes in at 190. Subtract the 538. That leaves us with uh, 348. And then subtract gas, which is $70 and one cent. I'm just gonna use 48. Ugh. Two seventy eight. I'm not even gonna take the cent off. Okay, so it leaves us with two seventy eight, and then we want to. This comes in at one hundred and fifty. Should have put that in red. Anyway, um, subtract two seventy eight. That leaves us with one hundred and twenty eight, which is great. That means we can go back up here to, uh, is it expenses or sinking funds? Sinking funds, we can add miscellaneous of $128. And that will close out our budget. So we can take the 128, add that. We know what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, add 190 plus 128, 318. That will come up to 318. Is my doo -doo -doo. Um, 318 from 538 leaves us 220 subtract 70 it's 290 wait a minute 220 track 70 it's 150 and then that's zero so remaining would be zero and we just zero based a inconsistent income <laughs> i don't like the zero base because you never know how things are gonna go but there's that little buffer and i have money left oh that's what i forgot um, remaining. There's some money left. So I'm going to take out miscellaneous and put remaining rollover. Shoot. Remaining. Rollover. Mm, 
I know I have 200 in one account, and I think I have 74 and 42, 116, $316. $316. So we're really probably not at zero, but it's okay. It is okay. We have, let's see. $1,466. Oops. Ooh. I'm using my desk mat. They wasn't selling, so I figured I need to do a desk mat over here, and it's working for me. Um, yeah, so this is this week's budget for the week of April 8th through April 14th. Um, it looks like we're coming at four, $1,466. Um, I have that buffer there, which is let, rollover. Um, so we're not going to worry about zeroing it out. So, But if we didn't use the rollover, then... Yeah, and I know I need this roller over in here because, let's see, which one is it? Actually, for last week, credit one. So that's really taken care of. It's, it's in there for some of the bills that I paid last week, which was credit one. And I got to get you guys a um, budget closeout. I already know my budget closeout is not going to go too well because I didn't keep track of all my money like I should have. But I still want to do it. Also, um, let me show you guys. For those who like to see my planning videos, I'm going to be setting up a mini HP. I have some things here from my shop, um, cloth and paper. And I'm just waiting on a few little things for the top. So I'm hoping I can be a little patient <laughs> for those top tabs. But that's pretty much all I'm waiting on. So if you are a planner babe like myself and you love planner setups and planner flips, um, that is coming up. Also, I have a video, a planner flip on my personal, which I'm still kind of using, but um, that's coming up as well. But this is it for this week's budget. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. Let me know that you are new here in the comments so that I can welcome you to the cove. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.